And now for Intrepid Outdoors in the field, bringing you images of America's energy industry, sponsored by Encana, energy for people. I'm Mike Schmid, owner of SOS Well Services. I grew up here in western Wyoming in a small town called Daniel. I've been in the oil and gas business here in southwest Wyoming for 33 years. 25 of those 33 years I've ran my own business, SOS Well Services. With all my years spent in the oil and gas business here in western Wyoming, I truly believe oil and gas workers are protectors of our wildlife here. In fact, I'd like to tell you a little story about a world-class mule deer buck called Popeye. Popeye was an awesome deer. He, uh, he wintered here every year throughout his life. Um, the buck would show up here every, every fall, late fall on the winter range, spend the winter here, and leave in the spring. Every year, mule deer hunters by the droves would hunt for that buck. Popeye earned his name by the sheer size of his antlers. Uh, he was called Popeye because when you seen him, your eyes would literally pop out of your head. He was a magnificent animal. Every fall after the hunting season was completed and all of the mule deer hunters done their best to take Popeye, he would show up here on the winter range and do his breeding process and pass on his world-class genetics. Popeye finally died but Popeye died of natural causes, not by a bullet or an arrow from a hunter. He died of natural causes on the winter range, and I honestly believe that if Popeye would not have been in this oil and gas field, where pumpers and oil and gas workers watched and observed him on a daily basis, and he would have been in some long lost lonely canyon by himself, he would have fallen to the poacher's bullet. I've read many articles about our decline in our mule deer here in western Wyoming and it seems to be based on a few years worth, worth of observation. But I've had 30 plus years of my own observation in the oil and gas fields here. And the only thing that's constant is the drilling. We've been drilling this area for 50 years. The mule deer have been strong for 40 of those 50 years. What's changed, the thing that's not constant, is the condition of our winter range. And I believe that's because of our 10 to 12, 15 year drought that we're, that we're experiencing right now. Through all of this uptick in drilling in western Wyoming, we've increased our drilling, we've found new fields that are being developed. We are still photographing and harvesting trophy class mule deer every year. After 37 years of hunting big game here in western Wyoming, from pronghorns to mule deer to bighorn sheep to shiris moose, I can honestly say that I have not lost one hunting opportunity because of oil and gas development. As an avid hunter, fisherman, outdoorsman, and conservationist, and lover of wildlife, I pose you with one question. If in fact our mule deer are in the decline and in the shape that we are told they are, I would like to know, and I've never been able to answer this or find the answer, why can I still buy my mule deer tag over the counter?